Hey YouTube and thank you for tuning in to the Dice Without Toy Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at three Waterbit toys. And yes, we're literally about under ten days till the very last day of summertime. And yes, we're literally about ten days as well to the beginning of September and the very end of August. And can you believe it? It is actually coming a very long way. And I can tell you what, my vlogger series of vlogs uh, throughout August of 2022 is amazing. Maybe I could do a sequel in October where I could do like Vlogtober. How about that one, eh? <laughs> well, that might be impossible, wouldn't it, though? But nevertheless, let me just go ahead and straight forward, take a look at these Waterbird toys. And we've actually got about three of them, actually. As funny as it sounds. Normally I tend to have three. Sometimes I have, like, two. But yes, we've got, like, three. So, which toy do I want to start first? Um, I might as well start off with this uh, product here, which is basically... That one there, which is called the Flip the Origami British Wild Collection Swimming Lesser Blackback Girl. Well, actually, it's called Swimming Lesser Blackback Girls. Late Summer Coastal Resort Gourmet. Actually, it's called Roost Gourmet 12 Pack. Why do I mistake the word ro resort as roost? It's roost, not resort! Damn you, Ivan! You've misspelt your words! Go ahead to dyslexia school or something. There you go, it costs about £16.50. I think you said something very really inappropriate though, right? <laughs> the back of the packaging looks like this. Obviously, the Lesser Blackback Girls. It's quite funny that normally the Lesser Blackback Girls in this country have become a bit of a summer visitor, but nowadays they now stay all year round, which is actually quite amazing for all girls, because obviously it's all to do with human food, that's why. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what these girls look like out of their packagings. And as funny as it sounds, we're getting a mixture of uh, having and lesser blackback girls. I'll take a look at the fish later on, and also the nostrils as well. In fact, out they come, out they come, they go. In fact, I'll show you what they look like later on. In fact, let me just show you the girls first. Now, yes, yeah, since I'm making this video in late summer, we're now getting a huge contrast between the adult birds, and yes, they're now moving away from their white, or should I say their clear white head plumage, which is their normal breeding plumage. Moving on into something, well, a lot more dirty looking as well. In fact, a lot more, I would just say, streaked and a lot more browner. Of course, yes, they often have that in autumn and winter. Well, I know the great black back girl tends to have a very clear head all year round. It does have a few brown patches, but it's not as you know, <coughs> brownly patched compared to lesser black-backed and herring gals during autumn and winter. And that's what they would normally look like. And if I show you the other one there, it also proves to you that they are wintering lesser black-backed gals. Noticing the word wintering by the top, it represents their head colour is basically, um, well, obviously, like a dirty brown streaked sort of plumage. In fact, it kind of looks very brown and streaked. Now, of course, yes, it is very re reminiscent of what a juvenile seagull would look like. Of course, yes, you get the clear, white-headed, lesser black-back gulls. I presume those um, dirty brown streaked head lesser black-back gulls that I've just shown you in this video, uh, just now, I would presume they're like a mix between a sub-adult and also a full adult. So... It would have been a mixture between the two. And yes, we've also got two of those juvenile lesser black back girls, but there's actually a major difference going on here. The one I'm shaking here down at the bottom though is basically um, quite a bit different because it's got a bit of a blackish, more blacker, sort of thicker black sort of tail, which is kind of weird. And there uh, is the other one there as well. Again, it's obviously, it looks like the beak has been bent. <laughs> Sorry about that one, eh? Um, Look at that, that looks pretty amazing seeing those girls like that. You know, it's funny, a lot of the larger girls don't obviously have like an actual sort of wing. They kind of look like they have wings, but not really at all. They almost look like dummy looking duck like birds that sort of, you know, have wings that kind of don't look that right. But nevertheless, I, they just look pretty fantastic. Well, I can tell you what, these guys look fairly nice, but we'll take a look at the fish next. I'm actually quite curious on what the fish are going to be. Well, since it's pretty much, 
you know, <clears throat> summertime now, obviously we've got some pilchard. <clears throat> How nice is that? Would it be more interesting if we introduced more, like, better fish like mackerel and maybe, like, you know, maybe seahorses and possibly, um, oh, yes, travallis. That's another great fish species. I could probably make, you know, different species of fish if I can. These guys, well, they just look pretty mundane. And yes, I'm still on, I'm still working on what's going to be coming for next month in September of 2022. And I might probably put up in a separate video and probably state on what's going to be happening in September of 2022. Of course, yes, we've got three of those mussels. Very essential for the seagulls to break open these, but just to catch some flesh, or catch the flesh and what the mussels tend to yield with. Okay, so we've got three of those mussels, which look like, well, they look like something that you play with your guitar or something. They're quite nice. They've got those lines, which is actually kind of, you know, very reminiscent of what a real mussel would look like. <coughs> and in they go. In goes the mussels. And <laughs> we just dropped the pilchard. That's not a great sign. And I can tell you what, though, I, um, of course, yes. <laughs> Yeah, so I can tell you what things can go wrong, especially that fan, that tower fan has dropped to the floor. That's not a great sign, sorry about that one guys, eh? Boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, watching this video via YouTube. Uh, yes, obviously it's a little bit muggy at the moment, though. <laughs> well, we have just came out from a long hot summer already, though. Uh, two weeks ago. In fact, last week was a lot more. It was warm and then stuck somewhere average. In fact, this product is done and dusted. Whoa! Okay, let's move on to another flip flop product, which I think it will definitely be this one here. It is the flip flop origami British Wild Collection Little Breed Dual Post Pond Breeding Feeding Habitat and Last Supper Fire Pack, which costs about three pounds fifty. Freaking cheap, isn't it? Not maybe. Uh, but there's the back of the packaging, which looks like that. We've got a bit of a smirky little grebe though, chasing after a petrified looking frog, which looks quite bigger than it actually is, and bigger that than that bird there as well. In fact, that bird will probably find it too big to eat this frog here. But nevertheless, let's take a look what we've got. I'm actually quite certain that yesterday, actually, no, yesterday, actually three days ago, um, when I was at the center, I actually encountered something fairly nice. And funnily enough, hey, it was not only just those, well, little greaves, well, actually, I didn't encounter the little greaves. Uh, at the park, though, these guys look fairly, fairly cute. They look nice. They've got those little yellow cheeky things at the front. They've got brown eyes. Sometimes the models have got like yellow eyes because there might be a bit of a debate stating that they could be from Asia. But this is basically maybe this like the European version. Oh, pun of me. <laughs> there you go. They've got like white <coughs> wing details as well. And there you go, there's what, that's what they look like at the back, <coughs> or the bottom actually. Actually the back, is, it's more like that. Once again, it's got a very strange looking booty that I've got no idea what it looks like. But nevertheless, uh, these guys are basically your breeding little greaves, noticing that they've got a beautiful looking, rufous looking, orangey kind of neck. Meaning that these birds are not only just colourful, but they're colourful because they're getting ready to be nesting. Well, because it's August, well, a lot of birds stop nesting during August. Well, I could say otherwise. And uh, speaking of nesting, I've actually realised since August is now pretty much like summer, it's now in fact actually the breeding season for our spiders. Would you ever believe it or no? <laughs> so, as the birds have stopped breeding this August, um, this time from late summer and autumn, it's going to be the breeding season of not just deer, but also spiders as well. Uh, but let's take a look at the fish. Obviously this here is a minnow. You can definitely tell that this is a freaking minnow because of its colours. Although I wouldn't say it looks like an actual minnow. It looks like something else or something totally different. Well, obviously going by the echoey yellow and greyish colours of course. It does look pretty nice but nevertheless so it is something very cool. Oh, and actually something that's actually straight forward in my head, and yes, I did check out the Cuphead show, uh, season 2. Uh, remember, I did that, that, remember I did that big vlog on the 21st of April where I talked about the Cuphead show? That show has now got a second uh, season. Can you believe it? 
I just can't believe it. I'm actually really excited. And of course, yes, I did see that very funny, funny clip of Diary Baby, and a couple of pirates as well. Yo, I don't know about you, but <clears throat> it was all to do with the Cuphead show. <laughs> you know, the TV show that is based on the video game depicting, you know, almost, you know, 1920s, 1930s, old classic Disney cartoons and Warner Brothers and, you know, Golden Age animated cartoons when animations were very simplistic and had, like, Pac-Man eyes, a little bit like Mickey Mouse and all the other cartoons and blah, blah. But anyways, sorry if I'm just going into that subject, but let's take a look at the frog and the lily pad. Okay, that was just me making generic frog sounds. Almost looks like a generic frog to me. But in the actuality, it looks more like a common frog. I've got a lily pad here, which is almost like in the shape of a Valentine's Day uh, heart. But that actually is, of course, a lily pad. I mean, how would a lily pad would be literally be made out of something totally lovely? Sorry for the pun. For your frog to stand. Of course, yes, it is based on a common frog. Now, yes, on three days ago, of course, yes, while in the midst of a drought, luckily enough, I did come across this guy here, which is obviously a common frog, and luckily enough common frogs, well, they can not only just be found in ponds <coughs> and other wetland habitats, but they can also be found in gardens and parks as well. I've actually realised, when I was watering down the flowers on Friday, I actually encountered a frog three days ago, uh, at the centre. It was from the gar it was from the centre, um, right my, at the backyard of it though. Usually it's an area where some of my friends can play football, but this critter here turned out. I love the details of green, brown, and also the grey as well. Also the eye colour as well. Looks pretty golden yellow, ochre brown-ish. <coughs> like that colour. <laughs> Not gonna lie, though. Still fantastic. We'll put these guys back already now. And because our last product is gonna be about nearly like the very end of summer, it's this product here. The Flipper Origami British Wolf Collection Swimming in the Summer Roosting Gals. Hope they didn't say resorting. <laughs> Small flock, five pack. Uh, £2.50, so that's about £1 cheaper compared to that little leaf set. There you go, that's what the back of the packaging looks like that. Of course, we're getting a mixture of black headed gals, and yes, the black headed gals are into their wintering plumage because I'm correlating to what they're going to be looking like throughout August of 2022. In fact, yes, I'm just. Double checking that yeah, I'm not mi actually I'm missing species. So here we go. We've got both the herring gal, which is on the right corner, and the lesser black back gal on the left hand corner. Obviously, you can definitely tell by their grey backs, which are different. But also, if you look very closely, the herring gal looks like it's got a bit of an orangey sort of eye ring, whereas the lesser black back gal has got a bit of a scarlet reddish eye ring. It's kind of a bit difficult to tell, but at least you know the difference. Good morning, know, guys. And of course, here's if I look underneath. On the Lesser Black Bat Girl, there's its name, which looks like that. And if I show you the Herring Girl, there it is there. Or oh, as people will be thinking, Yo, but I mean, you're just lying, making this all up! Well, I'm not, sorry, I'm on guys, eh? But let's take a look at the Black Headed Girls. Obviously, the Black Headed Girls are in the, to their wintering plumage, going by their headphone like appearance there on their heads. Yeah, and also the brown striping on their eyes as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna hold the birds like so. Can you see the brown? detailing that actually, well, actually not in actual, some birds actually, this bird here looks like it's missing a bit of brown, which is not a very good sign. I'm just actually talking about re-detailing that bird and going back to what this bird should look like. This is quite annoying sometimes when, you know, I feel like toys don't really correlate to what they look like, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I was just tidying up the whole mess, so... Maybe I could probably detail that after making that video. Oh wait, there it is. Can actually colour in the striping that was missing. There it is there. Are you happy now? Of course, yes, it looks so much better than, you know, being misled by, you know, sloppy detailing. Of course, yes, all black-headed gals look like that. Strangely enough, I'm just brushing the head because I just have to double-check myself before I'm going to be ending this video and whatnot. I don't know about you, but not all videos tend to be perfectly like that. Um, you know, during like Monday to Fridays. But don't worry, Bank Holiday Monday to August is coming, which is a good sign. There you go, there's the name. Black-Headed Gal. And here's another one there as well. 
Look at that. It's just amazing that I'm just making so many of those guys here. In fact, here's one there with a bit of a pincher strike on the right, which is that there. Not very good, isn't it? Maybe it's because I must have been rushing ahead just to get this product right on time and schedule. But nevertheless, it is still quite a nice addition. It's still a very nice collection of girls. How could you never go wrong with those seagulls, of course? <laughs> and it's amazing that the seagulls are still going ahead after when the Flapping Birds toy range has uh, whittled away, because obviously it's very worthy, note, very worthy to note that seagulls also can swim. So, if you really enjoyed in this very crazy and very, very quick video, actually, though, so if you really enjoyed in this very weird and wacky video about Waterbird toys, of course there was about three of those, please give this video a like, subscribe for more flip flap videos in the future, especially vloggers time videos while YouTube, as I'm adding cream onto my hands because my hands are just bloody dry. They're freaking dry. But anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching, and bye for now!